Welcome back to the second episode of me doing Darkest Dungeon. I don't have a fancy name for it yet. I will figure it out later. Uh, as I said, I was going to just keep going with this. So let's just... I already got my party set up and everything. I'm going to do this medium run. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just run down the halls yelling at skeletons. Um... I usually like to get about a stack and a half, about a stack of torches for every, so there's like short, medium, long, so I'll get like a stack for each one, I guess. Yeah, we'll do four. We'll do four, we'll do eight. Definitely lots of shovels. Three should be enough. If it's not, that's a problem. Two keys is usually more than enough. Uh, some holy water is not bad. Uh, medicinal herbs also not bad. Um, bandages a little bit, just in case I run into bleeding guys. I don't have any way to cure bleed yet. And anti-venom is not really useful in here. Uh, laudanum also not really useful until I start getting towards the medium level stuff. Let us embark. Cool. Face out the halls of your lineage Woo. once familiar. Now. Boring. That's a big one. That's a spicy meat ball. Okay, yeah, so when you get to, like, medium and longer dungeons, it's a lot uh, a lot more involved. So, that was a scouting uh, roll that happened and succeeded, so I can see that there's a trap up ahead, and there's a curio, and there's an obstacle over here. Since my goal is to explore 90% of rooms, I'm just gonna go up. And here's the trap. See this little indicator shows up. People's different chances to disarm. This party is not great at it. Oh, please do it. Woo. They get some stress relief for doing it, too. This motherfucker. Okay, good. He didn't steal it. These journal pages are just little bits of story. Uh, they they take up an inventory slot. I think that you only keep them, like, in your journal or whatever in town if you bring them back. I don't think they actually do anything besides that. So if you're, like, a lore player, like, yeah, by all means, do this. Um, you can just read them here, though. Uh, so I will not be. Wait, how do I... How do I destroy something again? There we go. Okay, great. Alright, and I already knew this was empty ahead of time. Any scout rolls? No scout rolls. I don't have anybody in the party that's good at scouting. So, so that'll happen a few times. Good dodges, though. Stack of books. Okay. So we got a stack of books. We could burn them. We could try burning them. Um, we could try reading them, which is probably going to give them a, a quirk. Could be, could, could be good, could be bad. Could give them some stress, so I want to, like, sort of weigh it out on what I think is going to be very good. Uh, I'm going to give it to Asselin. <laughs> nice. Or I'm going to try... Oh, no, he got stressed out. Oh, no! Oh, good, okay. That was just reduced light level. That's not really that bad. It just costs torches. It, it's okay if I get to the end of the dungeon and I'm, like, out of torches and sort of just fighting to see. Yeah, I want to stun this guy. I don't want this guy stressing my guys out. They're fast, too. You can see 8 speed. Yep. This motherfucker. Spilling his juice on me. Don't spill your appy juice, your grape juice on me. Motherfucker. That was a good dodge on their part. Uh, and I'm just gonna kill these guys. Back to the pit. Admittedly, I probably should have hit the front one because the, the Abomination can't hit frontliners uh, in his human form. I am going to reduce this guy's dodge. Cause, oh, the sweet irony of it. Whew. Good dodge. Try again. There we go. Okay, if this... Good. This guy's dead now. Great is the he had five health, one damage on from the... Own. One damage from the thing, four damage from the blight. I can stun this guy now, so... I should have only had to deal with the one goblet. The one appy juice. Yeah. Make sure that guy dies. Falls, a faint hope I suppose he would have died on his own from the one turn of blight with the stun and the second turn of blight with Another the blight. One falls. But it's fine. Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be effective. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I know Wayne June. I know. the The character's name is not Wayne June. That's the name of the voice voice actor who does the narrator. He is very good. He is so incredible for this role. Ah, rip. Ancient Ow. Lie in wait. Yep. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. A lot of damage, a lot of stress. Oh, here we go. Okay, so 
An urn holds the ashes of the departed. I don't want to just go root my fingies in there. I'm going to use a holy water. I forget if it... I don't think it's any stress here. I think it's just loot. Yeah. There we go. And I don't need to worry about, you know, re-upping my torch yet. I have... There's no guys I'm going to run into. Okay. I hit a dead end. I turn back around again, and I'm going back down the hallway. Sometimes when you return down a hallway, it will spawn enemies in your path. You can see them, like, it'll show up as a combat thing, but that's just uh, one of the downsides. Like, you can't just go back and forth through the whole dungeon totally unmolested. Uh, guys will catch up to you. Hunger check, I got plenty of food. You get a little bit of stress from moving around, but you get more stress from exploring new rooms in a hallway, new sections of a hallway. Or a corridor, or whatever they call it. Refresh it now. I know I've got an obstacle, and I know I've got an empty room. Uh, enemies will never... If I've scouted successfully like this, enemies will never be hidden. Like, I if, I will know if there's an enemy there. It is a guarantee. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. So yeah, I'm gonna... Oh my god, another... That's actually kind of free... Eh, semi-frequent for a hunger check. I got 16 left. That's good. Hey, scouting. Okay. Good time to get scouting, especially with all these traps. Jesus. I've been kind of lucky. There really haven't been any battles so far, for the most part. Ah, this is why I brought the uh, medicinal herbs. It is a rusty Iron Maiden, so let me cleanse the maladies. Uh, again, if there's any stress relief, you need it. No stress Hacks relief. Laden with loot are often low on supplies. So I, I, got the, um, I got the medicinal herb back that I ended up using, and now I'm out of space, so I have to make the hard decision. What do I throw away? First call is always a torch. Just the use light, it. The promise of safety. And if you if you can't use it, then don't worry about it. Okay, well, if she gets stressed again, that'll suck, but I'd rather it be on one character, which is perfect, than spread out among everybody, uh, which is kind of worse. Because I can send one person into, you know, the abbey or whatever to lose stress. Wow, these are good scout rolls. I can send one, like, I could just send them in to get stress relieved instead of having to pay to spend, uh, you know, to send two guys in. Glad he has not been stealing all my shit yet, but I know he's going to steal it at the most inopportune time. Wow, okay, this is actually a lot of hunger checks. Um, I have a few rooms left, so I'm going to do this one. Yeah, I'll do it with the torch. Okay, this is all just physical damage, and I'm surprised. And they're surprised. I have surprised them. I'm just going to go ahead and do... Uh, I, I always default to, with the... Plague Doctor doing this backline hit because it hits both guys, it's Blight, and it's going to just deal a ton of damage over time. Yep. Uh, I can reduce dodge. Does anybody even have dodge I need to worry about? Not really. I might just punch a man. Rip. He can deal some Blight damage, sort of like mid-grade Blight damage to the midline here. I can stun... It's not really worth it to transform him unless you're like, I want to chew through these guys like right now. It is it is sort of like a cooldown button um, to get damage out rapidly on a, on a close target. So instead I'm going to deal some damage to those guys and I'm going to try and just stun this guy just so he doesn't like stun my guys or do anything annoying. I could also just kill this guy too. Uh, I'm going to go for the kill shot. There we go. One fewer action. Sort of in perpetuity also. That was his last action. Rip. He's got six health, six blight damage. That's fine. This. Yep. Even if it hit, it wasn't going to be a problem. Okay, so I know this guy's going to die. So it probably makes sense to just stun him. I forgot. I guess he could hit the front line there. Ah, that's fine. Uh, I can do a shuffle on this guy to bring him up. Or I could do this which won't kill him, so I'm actually gonna go with the shuffle. It's a gonna clear the corpse too. Hey, there you go, perfect, and it's stunned. Slowly. So now I have pretty good control of the situation. This is how a life is taken. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna soften this guy up. So then I can do this and potentially kill both. Or not kill both, but kill the one, deal damage to the other. Ooh, that's not great, he's gonna get stunned. And stressed. Yeah. Bada bang, bada boom. 
So now even if he goes, he's dead. So I can actually spend this turn to heal. No need to do offensive actions. And yeah, I'll just have him heal as well. Passion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. You are you are punished if you try and stall in combat and just like only use healing abilities. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Yeah, you're you're punished for stalling. Like it'll spawn more guys behind and be like, oh no, reinforcements. So you you don't want to just sit around healing with all your dudes every turn to try and recover. First of all, you probably won't overcome overcome the enemy's damage. But second of all, um, yeah, you're going to get overwhelmed like that. It's going to end up being worse. So what I like to do is I like to be in a position where I know victory is assured and then spend the remaining turns doing heals like that. I know that this is a stress healer. See, it's got the little symbol now showing me what it does. So I'm going to go ahead and get her healed up and lose some stress. Oh, and it critical, Amazing. So that's very good for me. Let's see, my guys are doing uh, decently well on stress. Um, let's read some books. Who wants to read some books? How about you? I could burn it, too. I'm gonna read him. Oh, that was a negative quirk. He got enlightened. He will now only meditate for stress relief. That, that could honestly be worth, worse as far as negative quirks go. All right, I'm not gonna use torches right now because I, I'm gonna use a campfire, or I'm gonna use the firewood to, to camp eventually, and that will restore all my light levels. Wow, these... It's a good scout rolls. All right, I don't... I want the curio, but I want to go this way because I want the curios in the combat. So I'm going to go here. He's going to steal this shit. No, he didn't. Yes. Wealth beyond Ooh. measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I don't, think there's, I don't think there's any curios in here that use anti-venom, so I'm going to toss and get the money instead. And then I'm just going to back up and I'm going to go right back through the door. So I skip the trap. I know I need to explore the runes, but not all of them. And so I can skip this one. And again, I'm going to keep my le my light levels low here. Oh, this motherfucker. Great job, idiot. You almost got blighted in a dungeon that doesn't really have a lot of blight in it. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. We'll get the loot. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Hmm. Now it must be carried home. I can eat the food. Get a little bit of health back, which I guess I'll get back in a second anyways. And then... I don't have a lot of room... I could toss bandages, because I there's some fairly weak bleed targets in here. I don't think there's any curios that do it. It's fine, I'll let get the bus. I'm okay with throwing away money like that on buying provisions and then turning out I don't need them. Oh, speaking of no blight, here's a guy that literally blights me. Uh, these guys aren't really blight worthy, so I'm just gonna try to stun. There we go. Yeah, these guys aren't super blightable, so I think I'm actually just gonna power up my frontline punch boy. Come on. Don't nibble. We do not nibble on our friends. They don't, see, they don't like it. They're recoiling in horror. I'm gonna go for it. Nice. Executed with impunity. Small monsters do not create a corpse. So that was just like instant clearing. It's just the guy in the front. Maybe he gets blighted, maybe he dies. There we go. Blink. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Nice. And there's no fight in here, so I don't have to worry about the light level being low when I walk in. Am I getting a scout? Surprisingly not. Okay, I will now use campfire. This is the thing that happens in medium and long uh, dungeons. In medium, you have one. In long, you have two. It's a way to restore some of your stress and kind of, like, reset back to zero. I had the choice a moment of... of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Repast. Uh, I have the choice of how much food I want to use for my pack. Uh, if I use the, the highest one, I get stress relief, but I don't get any stress relief from the others. If I have none food, then it's really bad. So you don't want to camp unless you have food available. Uh, I try and always have enough food ready for a feast. Because the stress relief, this is free, right? Like, otherwise I have to pay for stress relief in town, and I get it for free here. So now the way this works is that everybody had, you know, they had their combat skills, but they also have camping skills, which these are the set of skills they have available when I'm in the camping section like this. And it's like, uh, heal some health, remove some, uh, some dots, uh, remove a disease, which this is nice because this is a free way to remove a disease if anybody had gotten one. Uh, nobody has any though. Um, or uh, do some stress relief, give myself a little buff. Let's see, I could do... Um, 
pray. I forget. I don't think he's religious. I think it's her, him, her, the flagellant, who I'm not using, and maybe one older. Maybe he is religious. No, he can't be. He, that's like his whole thing is he was like abused. Um... So I can give him buffs, but it freaks everybody else out. And if they're religious, it's even more. And that's a bad idea, because I got two of them. I can add some resistances, but he gets more uh, more stress. I can just reduce the amount of stress somebody gets from other effects. I can re remove stress directly. Uh, mortality debuffs are... I You're not going to see this for a little bit, but when a character gets to zero health, they don't die. They get on what's called Death's Door, and they... Um, they have a chance to be killed from any source of damage they receive going forward. Uh, that's based on their death blow resistance. So they will resist death two-thirds of the time, and a third of the time it will kill them. So uh, when you get on Death's Door, you get a mortality debuff, which reduces the amount of damage you deal, you know, reduce your speed, that kind of stuff. And so you're a little bit weaker for the rest of the dungeon here. So this will... he can, he can cure that. Otherwise here, he can just cure stress and... Um, Reduce the amount of stress I take. That sounds pretty awesome, because I don't really have anything else. Look at that. Everybody's basically at, like, zero stress. That's awesome. The main problem I have right now is that none of my guys have a prevent ambush ability. Because when I'm camping here, um, if I haven't used an ability that prevents it, uh, I have a chance of being ambushed in the middle of the night while I'm resting here. So I might as well just burn all of my respite points here. Uh, I'll make your accuracy better. Kind of inaccurate. And then... I don't really want to do any of his buffs right now. Nobody needs any stress healing. I, I kind of want to just do this for the extra... Ooh, extra protection. That's kind of nice. It's all companions? No, it's not yeah, It's not party. It's all companions. So it'd be the other three. Let's see what happens. He is... Yeah, he's not religious. Did she get it? No, she did not. All right, and I have one point which I... Can only do this with, I guess, sure, disease resist. Rest. Everybody's little, these are called barks. Everybody's barks are unique to their class, which is kind of fun. Everybody's got a little personality. As cool. the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. There is no, there was no ambush. It would have been very obvious if I was ambushed. I still have torches left. He's gonna steal this shit. Wow, really restrained today, Reynald. I really appreciate it. For a task well performed. This is character growth if I've ever seen it. Ooh, give me the loot. Uh, I don't like that very much at all. So I am going to. I kind of want to start getting damage on them, but I also want to stun the shit out of this lady. Actually, nope. This is the time. I'm gonna buff this bad boy. We're gonna have a little bit of fun with this one. This is why I was glad that I did the, um... Oh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hold on. No dodge for you, please. The way is lit. The path is clear. The stress you reduction received is very useful now. Probably save, like, ten stress from those two hits. Alright, baby, let's do it. Everybody disliked that, but it's fine, because now we can... Own her in one hit. He's got to move forward because he can't reach. Which is kind of a problem. Because he needs to be in the front, too. So what I need to do is... No, okay, well, that's fine. Rude. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stun shuffle this guy. No, sir. I need her to go first so I can move her back. Or push back? Yeah, thank you. I don't even mind the stun, because all it's going to do is move her back anyways. Now I can move him up. Perfect. <laughs> What's up, buddies? Uh, you're dead now. Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to buff the hell out of him. He's got plus 40 damage and plus 7 speed. Uh, I'm going to do some healing. And I'm going to hit this guy with my superior low hit damage. Yeah, he gets a little bit of stress every turn while he's an abomination. 
Uh, so I could do this, uh, or I could do the, the two-hit thing. See, it's got the little plus. Do the two-hit thing. Not really going to do any good for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and... This has a... I'm, I'm comparing the chances here. There are seven different rolls that I could have, nine through 16. Two of them will kill this guy, if it's not a crit. This guy, though, there's uh, five... Hold on, math. Or is there six? Seven, seven, eight. I'm literally counting my fingers. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, there's six. Um, six and four of them are a kill shot. So I want to go for the one that has a higher chance for kill shot. Nice work, idiot. Uh, he doesn't even have any dodge. Whatever. I'm gonna soften him. Heals her a little bit too, if she likes. And then we're going to do that. Now he's dead from the blight. I think he's barely bleedable. He is made of meat, big meaty boy. No chance to kill shot, but heavy damage there. And now we just kill him. Unforeseen, unforgiving. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. All right. Well, I don't have any bandages to deal with the bleeding, so he's just going to take an extra two damage. And I can use the medicinal herbs to clear any down orange heroes like that. Just for a couple of rounds. We'll, we'll roll the dice on it, see what happens. He should be fine. Get some loot! Maybe... Hey, that's a lot of heirlooms. I like that a lot. I like that very much. Ow. Ow. It's fine. It's an inconvenient timing for my torch to go down. God damn it! Well, we're doing it again. Here I go killing again. Good dodge. Not good dodge. Ow. Uh. It's Buffy time. Buffy time for a Buffy boy. Oh yeah, I was like, oh, he's got the slow speed. It's okay. I'm, I'm transforming now. You are dead. Very good, sir. Uh, I would love to reduce his dodge a lot. I'd also like to move my guy up. Yeah, I'm just gonna move my guy up. Need to get him back into position, because otherwise I'm just sitting around with this guy with his thumb up his ass. And I want him up. See, he, he ended up soaking these hits. He's got way more health and a little bit of protection. Just works out better for him. I'm just gonna rake these guys. Every time I do rake, rake with a K, uh, every time I use Rake on these guys, I get a little buff that increases the damage of Rake again. Uh, I need to deal one damage. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so, important detail about the enemies in this game. They're not dumb. This guy with stress abilities does target the person with the most stress. They will just pile on you. That is a huge problem and something to be worried about. So, he needs to die. She gets a little bit of stress health from that. That's okay, I'm gonna... Send her, send her the Senate. Well, not the sanitarium. To the Abbey. To, uh, for, to convalesce. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, all right. What is up, my dudes? I don't. Have... Trifling victory, hmm. but a victory nonetheless. Not enough room for money. This is a problem. Uh, it's only two fifty, but starting another stack would be really good. What do I want to do? Uh, I got enough shovels. I do not need any more shovels. I will... Mm, I want to see how... Okay, hold on. Let me move my amps around here. Make it a little bit more clear what I'm thinking. Where am I thinking it's at? Nope, that's not right. Okay, putting all the purples together. Putting all the yellows together. There we go. So nice. So neat. Organized by value. There we go. That's efficiency. Great, so I have, I've got food, I got holy water. I wanna hang on to these things because if there's curios, I see something over here, I think it might just be a bag though. Uh, if there's curios that use either of these things, that turns into more loot, same with the key. Uh, so if I, and I don't wanna throw away any shovels because if I run into an obstacle, then I take a huge amount of stress damage. I can't throw away the food because if I get a hunger check, that's bad. I could throw away the torches, right? I could full up on torchlight. A blazing star is I got, born. I got, you know, may, I think maybe only two rooms left. Like, it might end here. That might be considered 90%. Um, and then, like, if I got a big stack of money, you know, I'd want to have somewhere to put it. I end up throwing stuff away anyways. You know, I'll, I'll go with the torch. I'll, I'll 
live a little. Okay, it's books. Uh, I'll read them. Oh, uh, this is- wait, hold on. I'm not gonna read them, because one of the downsides of this is it reduces your torchlight by 50, and I don't- I'm just not gonna roll the dice on that right now. I don't usually roll the dice a lot with the quirk ones, but I've been having a more- a bit more fun with them recently, just kinda see what happens. Okay, great. Hey, shovels. Shovel work. So there's- there's exactly one fight between me and the end of this dungeon. That we know. And so, uh, the- the light level here is not a problem. Easy, guys. Finally. Uh, and I'm gonna do the stun thing again, because fuck this guy. Yeah, that's what I want. And I don't need to turn him into a- into a big nasty man, though. A big nasty man. Uh, I can kinda just wail on stuff. Donk. Uh, oh, perfect. Okay, so this guy's dead now, and then I can... Yeah, I need to deal some damage to that guy. He's fast, though. Ugh, he might still go. Actually, I don't think he can do any stress damage in the front. I think he only has a little dagger. A little knife. A death he might poke my man. Yeah, he just poked my man. Rude. A little bit of man pokage. I've been known to indulge from time to time in a little bit of man pokage. Uh... Dope. You notice I haven't used the defense thing at all? Um, oh, that's right, it restores Torch, too. Oh, I forgot about that. Brought low and driven into the mud. Shows how often I use Torch restoring abilities, because it's just... I mean, tor Torches themselves are enough most of the time. Um, this is... I mean, I guess this, this would have made sense potentially a few times. It's just that the battles need to be long enough to make the protection worth it in terms of the amount of damage it reduces versus the amount of damage that's reduced from killing a guy faster. And most of the time, killing a guy faster is more damage reduction. Hey, look at this. I even talked about this, right? So here's one thing, medicinal herbs for this and a key for this thing. Uh, and, you know, possibly something else with that last thing. What we got? Glittering gold. Great, I don't care. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in I'm getting, blood. I'm getting really lucky that Reynald has not decided to be, and the money that I was talking about. Reynald has not decided to be a greedy fuck right now. Cool, okay, so we move in. Again, there's no combat because I scouted out the whole way ahead. There's just some obstacles here. I'm gonna continue adventuring because there's just... I might as well use up my provisions, which do... Th you do sell them back at a worse rate than you paid for them, uh, but I'd rather convert them into money from curios here. So what do we got? We got a box. He's gonna steal it. Wow, Reynald. I'm really impressed. I'm still gonna cure that quirk on you, but... So this was very profitable. The great ruins belong to us. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. So I got nine deeds out of the deal, which is great, because I need I only need, like, one more. But I got a new trinket for a class I don't have yet. Uh, I got 15,000 gold. I got some crests. I got a lot of a lot of busts. That's a thing, too. Each of the areas uh, corresponds to, like, one common type of heirloom to find. It used to be that you could, like, only get that. Or no, it wasn't that you could only get it. It was that the quest rewards were only for that type. So ruins... Uh, missions only gave busts as a reward, but they... That was a long time ago, and they've since mixed it up. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? God damn it. Now I have two kleptos. Nobody gives a shit about no stress penalty when walking backwards. You do it for, like, two feet. That's a bad Trouble quirk to get. yourself not with the cost of this crusade. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of means. Okay, so I think I have one more mission to do to have unlocked it. Everything, excuse me, but we've now got, um, well, I gotta pull people out of the party so I can sort better. Sort by stress level, okay. Let's go ahead and she only does, oh, thank god, she only does prayer, so that worked out great, right? Or does she just not do, yeah, no, she has to pray. So now, now that I know that she is going to want to pray, I'm going to pump this and pump this a so that- in a robe. Claiming communion with the divine. Madness. I love it. Um, now it's cheaper and it's going to give me more stress relief at the exact time that I need it. So I save myself money and um, increase the value of this by, by waiting until this moment to do it. And I know, again, that the only, the only thing busts are used for is the abbey and the sanitarium, which isn't unlocked yet. So it's okay for me to, like, you know, focus where I spend that energy. But this is what I wanted. Once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. Make no mistake. 
We will face ever greater threats. Our soldiers must be ready. All right. Oh, uh, almost forgot. I need to upgrade the stagecoach to get more guys. Now I can get another full party. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. We can, we can use, use this. this. Yeah, I got another full party now, and I got, jeez, another crusader. Uh, oh, right, that's fine. Two crusaders is fine. Oh, Chatwood, that's cute. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior. The, uh, the, um, the guy who does the music for this game, uh, his name is Stuart Chatwood, did an incredible job. Uh, there is, I, w I would go so far as to say that every component of this game is, I'm going to say perfectly as hyperbole, but it's perfectly crafted. The art, the writing, the narration, the sound design, not just the music, but the sound design is very good. The music is, is exquisite. I don't know if I said that already. I'll say it again. The music is exquisite. Um, the the Ludo narrative, so the experience of being the player playing the game and where you fit into all of it and sort of your own personal story of experiencing the game systems, flawless. Designed perfectly to evoke the sensation of uh, you don't give a shit about these people. Like, these aren't your friends. They, like, these are... You have mercenaries that you've hired, and it is okay if they die because you'll just hire another one. It sucks. You're like, God, that's an inconvenience. But it's not an inconvenience because you were attached to them. Well, some, as some people do. They, you know, they, they rename them. They make them their own or whatever. But you're not supposed to because they will die. You will lose them, and the inconvenience is not that you're, like, attached to them. It's that... Um, it costs you money, and it's like, shit, there goes all the time and effort I put into getting that guy leveled up, and now it's all gone. I know it sounds, it definitely sounds, uh, uh, I'll say antisocial to be like, oh, well, why, why don't you feel any attachment to these guys? And it's like, I normally do, I will say, a bit, to be very clear, I, I love getting attached to characters in games, but I've played this game long enough to know that's not what you're supposed to do in here. You're not supposed to feel good about them. Like, these aren't cute, fun characters that have a lot of personality. These are tortured souls... Uh, desperate to seek salvation from damnation, and you are just throwing them into the, the into of the hunt. The promise of payment. You are literally just throwing them into hell. She searches where others will not go, and sees what others will not see. I'm pausing so that he does his little narration thing. We can enjoy that. Oh, boo! I didn't wait long enough, apparently. Or maybe he only does so many. Uh, let's go ahead and sort by uh, sort by class now. Okay. So we got a couple new things. We got the uh, the bounty hunter. He is a frontliner who does a lot of damage to humanoids and mark targets. Um, he is he's like he's a very heavy DPS character, uh, kind of light on the defenses. Um, we have an occultist who is the other primary type of healer. Their heal is, look at that, 0 to 13. He can literally do 0 healing, and then on top of that, it has a chance to do a bleed, which sort of, like, modulates out. So, like, you get a crit heal for 20, and then also a bleed for another, like, let's say the, the bleed crits, like, so it would be 5 damage. So, even though you heal for 20, it's effectively 15 over time, or you could heal for 0 and get a bleed and have the heal be negative 3 damage. So, he's got a wide range, as opposed to the Vestal, which is a narrow, but um, very consistent like, you know, smaller range. Hers was 4 to 5, his is 0 to 13. Uh, he also has a lot of debuffs. He's he's very much like a, uh, a damage support kind of thing. And he also, he fucks Eldritch. He fucks on Eldritch. Well, I don't I don't know his proclivities, but he definitely fucks on them. Um, it's very good. And he's got uh, the best stun ability in the game, the only downside being he has to be in the front line to use it, and it reduces your torch a little bit, which doesn't matter. Uh, we have the Antiquarian. So she's an interesting cat. She, I think she was added later. Yeah, she was added later. Her thing is that all of her abilities suck shit, but if you have her in the party and you have her loot curios, you get extra loot. There's always a, a piece of curios or uh, antiquarian specific loot on those chests. Like, even if it's a torch, the torch will have like a, I forget what it's called, like a, a minor trinket or something like that that just sells for gold. On top of that, your gold stacks can stack higher and your gem stacks can stack, I think your gem stacks can stack higher. So, you bring her along because even though she's weak and the, the benefits she provides to the party are very low from a combat perspective, she increases the amount of money you pull from that mission by a lot. And so um, that's like, it's, a, a, again, a little bit of a risk-reward thing. Okay, so that's uh, that's our new party there that we've got. I, I'm very glad to have unlocked the blacksmith because I can upgrade people's weapons now. You see if they're level 1, I can dump them in. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, because I haven't unlocked it yet. But if, they're, if I had the deeds... 
I can allow people to upgrade their weapons, which just increases their base damage and their crit chance and their speed, or their armor, which is dodge chance and HP. Everybody's got different values based on their class here. So, like, you see he's, um, they're both level 1. He's 6 to 12 with 3% and 1 speed. He is 6 to 11 with 2% and 7 speed. So everybody's built a little bit differently on how they hit. Um, but I don't have the resources to do anything unless I wanted to shuffle some, like, portraits in there. Or maybe some crests to be able to afford it. I I'll consider it. The main thing is I wanted the guild because the guild lets me upgrade people's skills and unlock the ones that I didn't have access to before. So the problems I had were, for instance, my Vestal here. Um, what was it this one? No, this one has two abilities that are in melee range only, I can now unlock the new skills on her, and then I can just have those instead, which is... That's what I want. <laughs> I, so I'm not as uh, fixed in the position that I have to be in. Um, I'm not going to worry about upgrading to rank 2, but I might reduce the cost a little bit to kind of... Because the earlier I do these cost upgrades, I was a little bit reticent to, to do these when I first started playing, because I was like, I don't know, reducing cost, that's not a big deal. But over the lifeline... Over the, the lifetime of the... Not just this next mission, but over the whole game, the amount of gold that saves stacks up pretty considerably. Uh, because it's not just the cost of this one skill on this one character, it's the cost of every skill on every character. So I, you know, I will go ahead and do this because I know I'm going to be unlocking some. regimen is paramount if one is to master the brutal arithmetic of combat. So I... I'm going to wait a second. I'm going to figure out... Okay. I've talked about this before with, um... When uh, when my wife was playing this uh, on her stream, uh, I was kind of like explaining some of the stuff of you. It's kind of weird. The game doesn't set this up in a way that supports this. Well, I'm, it doesn't suggest this, but this just makes sense to me. You want to go to embark. You want to pick the mission you're going to do first. Then you're going to pick the party members for that mission. Then you're going to go back to the estate and you're going to level up and like put money into the characters that you're doing for that next mission. So don't. Don't, like, go in here and be like, okay, I'm gonna go, you know, level up this guy because he's level one. Because you might not be using him in the next mission. And if you're not, then that's wasted money for that turn, right? Because your your money is limited. You only have so much to work with at a given time. You want to maximize how it's being used. So you want to use it on the exact next thing that you're going to be doing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a wield mission here. Is this, the, yeah, the wield. Uh, which is, it's like Old English for wood. The, the wield. The wield. Um... The thing to consider for the different locations, I haven't unlocked the other two yet, but uh, skeletons are resistant to bleed and weak to blight. Cove has fishmen, which are, uh, again, resistant to bleed and weak to blight. Um, or no. Yes. Yes, that's right. Because uh, they have scales. The scales act like armor. And the, the they're fish people, so they're animals, so they're blight-worthy. Um, the Warrens is pigmen. They're very bleed weak but very blight-resistant because they're living in filth. And then the wield, because it's like poisonous fungus and stuff, is very blight-resistant and um, very bleed-weak. So bleed-bleed, blight-blight for like what you want to bring to the, the party here. So if we're doing a wield mission, we want bleeders, not blighters, which means I do not want my uh, Plague Doctors. Uh, Hugonin here is a bleeder. Uh, if I, I'm going to set him up as bleed and possibly as support, um, which means he'd be in the third slot. I'm going to go ahead and bring an Antiquarian just to show off what they can do. I will bring an Occultist, and I'll make him a Frontliner, uh, because the stuff in here is there's a lot of Eldritch, so he can deal extra damage to that. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring the Bounty Hunter. So we're going to have a totally new party of guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, he's not exactly a Frontliner. Like, you can put him in the Frontline. He's just a little bit, like I say, he's a little bit weaker, so he's going to take some hits. Uh, he is... I don't want to say he's safer in the second slot, but you can see like he's got abilities like Flashbang and Caltrops that need to be he needs to be in the second slot for that. So no, I think I need to leave him here. On uh, bum bum bum. You know, actually, I could just since I'm not gonna use Demon's Pull, I could just put him in the front. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this guy in the front. Uh, d this mostly to make sure that he has access to this ability here. So you can see, based on the abilities that he's got, this guy's better in the second slot. Um, it's kind of funny. You can put, yeah, Occultist is the kind of healer that you put in the front line, um, if you want to. If you want to build him that way. So, knowing that I have, now I have my party positions, I, you can click the buttons here to sort your party to the top. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, okay, what skills do I want to make sure that everybody has? I want to make sure that he has Sacrificial Stab, because I, again, damage versus Eldritch, very good. I'm going to keep the stun on. I'm probably going to do the mark target, and then I'm going to have the heal. 
Oops. Uh, for this guy, come on. For this guy, I can give him a mark. I can give him a pull. Uh, I, I honestly kind of like Caltrops. The minus speed debuff can be really helpful. It's one of those things that pays off in the right, in like sort of a medium length fight. And the increased damage taken is not bad. So uh, it'll just be like, okay, well, this guy's dangerous. Like if there's a stress caster in the back, those are always fast. And if I can Caltrop them early, I could pull them. Pulling them forward is also a valid option as well. Um, it'll pull and mark, which is nice. But I could Caltrop them and slow them down too, so that if for some reason they get pushed back to the back, or I don't know, whatever. Um, it just This is probably suboptimal compared to the pulling method. Hey, listen kids, pulling out doesn't work. Um, but I, uh, I don't know, I like this one. And I'm good enough at the game that I can choose suboptimal choices uh, from an overall perspective because I enjoy that gameplay more. I am going to... I do Come Hither is very good, but I'm going to play without it. I'm also going to play without him doing the mark because I have the Occultist who can do it, and I kind of want him to just churn. And I'm going to keep this stun. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so he's got a stun, which has a knockback, uh, which is, I mean, that's sort of equivalent, right? If you can knock a frontliner to the back, it's similar to pulling a backliner towards the front. And then he deals additional damage to stun targets, which since, again, the Occultist will have a stun as well. These two guys are synergizing very nicely together. Uh, deals increased damage to marks and stuns, does marks and stuns. This guy, he could be a dancer with uh, the forward and the backward movement. His whole thing is like, every ability he has uh, increases damage that Finale deals. Uh, so like, 30%, 30%, 30%, um, plus 75% damage to Finale and increased crit. So, uh, but then when you do Finale, you lose all your dodge, you slow down, and you gain a shitload more stress. So, Finale is literally an ability that you save to, like, just absolutely chump the last guy, or if there's a really big guy that you've got a lot of debuffs on, you can just absolutely shit on him that way. I'm not going to be using a Finale build right now. It is it is honestly very fun. I, it, It's very... It's so tempting to just do bleed and support on Jesters, but I do recommend trying out, like, do a little bit of dancing on them. Uh, this one's nice, too. They added this later. It bypasses guard, so if a... If a Armored guy uh, does a guard effect on an ally. Guard means that the hit, instead of hitting the, the guarded target, will hit the guarder. Uh, Dirkstab bypasses guard, so he can get in there, and if you, like, weaken the guy and he got a blocker in front of him, he can just bypass the blocker and kill it, which is really good. Um, Finale does a shit, like, so much damage. You can just, you can, like, oh, super overkill guys with this. It's, it's so good. Look at that. Accuracy 142, and it's level 1. That's incredible. Um... It's, it's just so nice. Uh, solo is for you got pushed the back line, and now you want to push up and do a big finale at the end there. It gives you, so you can see the big dodge as well. It marks you, so everybody's going to focus on you. They're going to try and swing at you. They won't be able to hit, and then you'll do a finale, and you'll kill somebody. But uh, instead, I'm going to go with the bleeds here uh, and the, the buff support. So we have this does bleed damage to two targets in the middle, um, It's two, but it's two damage on each of them. This does uh, to only one target, but it's uh, three damage... Uh, so, 9 damage total versus 6 damage on 2. Uh, it just depends on what you're fighting at the time. Sometimes it makes more sense to lay damage into 1, or sometimes it makes sense to split it up. This is a, the, the wheel is a perfect place for the gesture to be for this, because there's a lot of bleed targets in there. He's got a buff. Uh, he's got to be in the back line to use it. Again, that's why I put him in the third slot. You can see positions 2, 3, positions 2, 3, positions 3, 4, positions 3, 4. Uh, I say, I read it backwards because the front line is position 1 in my head, and the 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 front, yeah, front line's position one, back line's position four. So it doesn't matter that it's reading right to left. That's just sort of the way I think about it. So uh, this is party-wide buff. Increases everybody's speed. Increases everybody's accuracy. Very helpful. Increases everybody's crit. And then this is just uh, reduce the stress on the target by eight. And then also reduce the amount of stress they take from further sources. So this is our stress healer. And then finally, let's do the Antiquarian. Um, she's got this just little piddly stab ability that can, she can use from anywhere and use on almost anything, so it's very flexible, which is nice. Like, I say her abilities suck shit. What I mean by that is none of them are, like, heavy hitters that are going to absolutely destroy a monster, but they, they're they not nothing. They're very much not nothing, and it's she makes up for her presence between being about 60% of another character in combat and 150% or 200% as a looter on the other side. So... She's got things that'll let her get out of the way uh, and kind of protect herself. This is a party-wide dodge buff. It's not a lot, but again, small benefits add, add up, which isn't isn't bad. She can force somebody else to guard her if she gets in trouble. 
Um, and then also give that target dodge and protection. I think I'm going to go... I'm just going to go full offense with her. Uh, Blight's going to be a bad idea because this is not the, the space run. Oh, she's got a little piddly one damage heal. Which, hey, this is good to get people off death's door. Because if they're on death's door, if they're at zero health, any hit will kill them. If they're at one health, they have to take two hits to die. Because they, they have to ha get knocked down back to zero again to be on death's door. And then they have to be killed. So this is not, again, not worthless in that regard. So I think I'm going to do Nervous Stab. I'm going to do Flash Powder, I'm going to do Fortifying Vapors, and I'm going to do Invigorating Vapors, just to, like, sort of general purpose value stuff. Okay, so I have all that set up. I'm now going to go through and make sure I have all the skills set. Uh, I like to do them, the order you click on them is the order that they uh, show up in on the bar, so I'm going to put them in an order that is right for my brain. Um, just rearranging the order here, because it does that. Uh, that, we'll do that, we'll do that, we'll do that. We will do single hit, double hit, um, buff, heal. And then we will do damage, uh, debuff, uh, heal, buff. Okay. And I don't think I have any... Tr do I have any trinkets that are... Oh, you know what? Disease resist is probably not bad for this place. Who doesn't have a lot of dodge? I don't care if they lose some dodge. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to put it on him. Uh, that's fine. I'll put it on him. Actually, no, wait, I don't want that because he's going to be taking some hits. I want, he's already got, yeah, let's do that. Just so if anybody gets diseased, I don't want it to be him. And I'm not doing a medium mission, so I don't need to worry about anybody's camping skills. All right, so that was a lot of setup. You, you'd see, like, that was it's probably, like, 10, 15 minutes of, well, one, talking over stuff, but also, like, getting things put together. And so the game really is kind of, like, half and half being in the dungeon. I always just max out food. I'd rather just have the extra food. Um... Ma being in the dungeon and managing your party for the next dungeon. Uh, I'll bring, I'll bring a couple extra torches. Why not? Definitely always have shovels. Actually, shovels are useful for solving other curios in here, so it makes sense to grab those. Always grab a couple of keys because there's always chests. Actually, there's a. Oh wait, no. Uh, there's some things that the anti venom is more useful on. I don't think there's. No, wait. Uh, there is a couple of things. There are a couple of things in here you can use holy water on. Bandages are common, and also enemies do stuff on us, so we're just gonna just fucking fill up. Let's do it! Alright. M. Bork. The Wheeled. The Wheeled. I would like to go to the Wheeled. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. So, every area also has like sort of different dungeon layouts you saw um the ruins was a little bit more linear there's just like a, a little offshoot here and there this the wheel can just be like full on half the dungeons on one side half the dungeons on the other very very like winding and twisted these guys are beasts beasts uh this is a great time for uh double bleed or well normally i'd be like well let me get some speed up because these guys are kind of fast uh, not really but they're gonna die in one turn because they're all surprised. I'm gonna get through. Yeah, people have taken. Why does everybody start with 20 stress? I, I played hundreds of hours this game. I still don't have an answer to that because I haven't looked it up. But there we go. Okay, cool. I honestly might as well just like stab this guy. 65% chance to hit. No, thank you. There Another we go. Good crit. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah, this guy's more dangerous. This guy just does a little bit of damage and stun. Or I guess it's a little stress, too. Boo. This guy's got some damage and blight. I don't feel like dealing with that. Uh, I can reduce his dodge. Or no, reduce his accuracy. Hmm. If, <laughs> if I hit, which is 60% chance, and I get the highest in the damage range, he dies. Of course not. Oh, wait, no, uh, he's bled. What am I talking about? Do not nibble. He done he done me a nibble. Uh, and then he can't do any damage right now, which is fine, because he'll just do some stress healing. Which I'm going to do it on him, because it's going to give him the little buff. And if anybody's going to be getting hits, it's going to be this guy in the front here. Be gone, fiend. He got some healing from punching that man. Okay, here we go. Minor antique. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? So, the, this is the item that you get 
you get this on every curio opened by the antiquarian and at the end of every battle there's also like a better version too so i now start getting these i get so much extra cash like here we go here's the thing okay old tree uh i'm not just gonna stick my hand in some dusty old tree uh as luck would have it so i could do medicinal herbs maybe you know let's give it a shot it is not medicinal herbs uh, is it holy water? I don't have many of them, and I I know that it's not holy water, but what about anti-venom? Hey, look at that. Protects against the poisonous sap. Here we go. Rare antique. So, again, this is just, like, so Such much cash coming in. Finery risks life and limb. All right, nothing. And so my, my goal is to complete 100% room battles. This dungeon could be one room with a battle, and that's it. And so it, I could get to this, like, one room, and suddenly the dungeon's over. Uh, personally, I... I I play this game because I enjoy the combat, so I don't the stuff mind if there's the more. Test. Now it must be carried home. So these are not room battles. This is just a, a corridor battle. These are humanoids, so they're very bleedable, and uh, I am just going to bleed the shit out of them. God damn it. I am going to go for a stun on one of these guys. Oh, wait, let's see. Okay, they're the same. Why is this guy slightly bigger than the other? Weird. It must be because he's, he's in the front or something. I'm going to go for the stun. A... Hey. Because these guys do quite a bit of damage. These guys do this AoE shit. And the debuff's not great, but whatever. Not a big deal. Oh, and hey, bonus damage to stun guys. Not quite, but almost there. I could have possibly gotten a killing shot on this guy, but I'm having fun. That's okay. Oop, that's not great. Uh, so sh since she's not super important, I'm actually going to have her move back. Because I want the Jester to be able to do another double hit swing. Like this. There we go. So I want more bleed on this guy, and I want some damage on this guy ticking. And I'm not really worried about this dude. It's like, okay, he does a little bit of damage. We get a little bit of dodge reduction. I will now kill this guy. He's going to leave the corpse. So positions two and three are still available. I can do a hit on... Oh, yeah, that's the other thing about finishing that's nice. Even if I don't give a shit about stunned guys, it can hit the third rank. So I can now... Even though that was the weakest hit, he's got the bleed. This guy is now guaranteed death. I did talk about taking the action will reduce the, uh, you know, make it so the enemy party gets the fewest number of actions. The right play would have been to kill this guy, but whatever. Uh, okay, everybody's effectively dead now. So if he goes, now he can reduce some stress on... Oh, do him to be the highest. And, I mean, I guess I go for the kill, because then he gets stress reduction from that. Never mind. What am I talking about? I know nothing. A little bit of healing. Good crit. That's stress reduction. Another reason that that little one-point heal can be useful. So, does he bleed? He doesn't. It was worth two points. Alright. Cool. And so, we got a little bit of debuffs. Nope, they're fading. Okay, so again, I switched to the, the Antiquarian here. I get the contents, and wouldn't you know it, more minor antique. Which is pretty good. I'm going to start organizing my stacks here. Um, I'll put yeah, purple and then gold from left to right. Right to left. Good enough. Uh, I don't know what's in here. It could be a battle. That's fine. I'll do a little bit of risk. It is a battle. If there's something in the middle of the room, there's always a battle. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do the dodge buff. I guess it might not be bad to do a little bit of white resist. And these are these are some chonky boys. These are some chonky boys. So now it's time to do buff. The extra speed and the extra accuracy and everything will make things uh, just go a little bit more in my favor over the long run here. So these guys are pretty easy to stun. I could do this to mark one of them, and then he could follow up with a hit on it, which uh, I think I'm going to do. Ooh. Believe it or not, that was a critical debuff hit. That's not ideal. Alright, so now this guy, I have a... Let's see. Eh, that's an okay hit. Half his health, though. Pretty good. Oh, and I even put the... Are you fucking kidding me? I put the disease thing on him, too. He should have gotten less disease. Okay, we've got a guy at death's door. Terrible vistas of emptiness but you see... Themselves. Well, first of all... Okay, so... Uh, what's his speed? His speed is low, so... He is low. Oh, well, his speed's low because of the death door effect. So it's more likely that she's going to go first. If you should get one point of healing on him, then he's fine. He's still marked, which is not good, which is even more reason I need to kill the shit out of these dudes. Of course. Uh, are we done, man? Woo, good dodge. Woo, good dodge. 
so I could use this to cure myself, which I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this to heal him up to get him off death's door, which is great. He can now heal himself up even further. Good roll, good roll. He's back up to near full. He's gonna get hit again. That was a bad crit. Ooh, and this guy's gonna go and he's gonna do the swing on him too. I have the ague, the ague. Boy, I, holly, I am not liking this whatsoever. Uh, it's not stress we're worried about, it's damage. This guy needs to bleed. These big guys in front are the ones I'm most worried about. Woo! Woo! Perched at the very precipice of Woo! Come on. Uh, I need to kill this guy. Yeah, this guy needs to die. I had some bad rolls in there and I need, I need him to die. Same thing with this guy. This guy's gotta fucking die. So I'm gonna stack up bleeds like crazy on him. Uh, what does the, the ague do? Oh, that reduced speed's not great. Wow, wow, these are so bad. Like, those are actually bad diseases to get. Please do not die, let's see, you're... Mm, no, I'm gonna, I wanna save it. Uh, I need you to not die, thank you. Thanks, sir. Stop raining blight on me, it's very rude. Also, the thing to know is like, getting diseases like that, like that's a low chance, like a 10, <laughs> it's like a 10 to 20% chance. <laughs> Holy shit. He's got syphilis now. You shouldn't have fucked that fungus man. Uh, if I, so if I do this... Oh, actually, I'm gonna go for a stun on this because, yes, I would love to heal this guy up. But by stunning this guy, if it succeeds, it will ensure he doesn't swing at me. And it will give another turn for damage to tick, and it will just buy me more time. That's gonna stun, yeah. Critical hits have an increased chance to uh, deal their status effect. So I had an extra 20% chance, so there was just no way he was gonna resist. Okay, so this guy is now dead. He's a he's a dead man walking. I can do reduced speed on those guys. I could punch this guy with this. I'm just gonna do a punch on him. Great hit. Love the hit. Teetering on the brink. Come on, that should be. Oh no. Nope. Okay, I actually have to cure that now. God damn. I was trying to save those for chests and stuff. Boy, howdy. Things went real sour real quick. That's not gonna kill him either. Um, I will do a heal on her. Very good heal. Okay, great. Oh, finally. Some dice rolls in my favor. So this is this guy's final turn. You dickhead. Oh my god. And now, and now this guy dies. Hold fast. <laughs> this guy's been on death door three times. Okay, this guy's dead man walking, so I just need to hit him. Great hit. Uh, he will survive into the next round, so I will just go ahead and... Perfect. Bleed this guy. Alright. The battle is now effectively over. I would love a turn to use a heal from this guy before these guys die. That'd be really cool. No such dice. Ooh, there we go. Ah, good, good heal. Good heal. Okay. Whew. That was a spicy battle. Slowly, spicy, this is how a gentle is to- Oh! I even called it too. It can be just one room battle. So that was a really brutal a really brutal fight, but I got through it. But what this means is, yes, there's hallway fights, but they're not gonna be as difficult, and there's still plenty of loot for me to get. So it is potentially to my benefit to continue to explore because I can leave the quest at any time. If I get into a really bad fight, I just say, fuck it, I retreat, I guys take some stress, I get out of there, I get all my loot. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat a bunch of food. Because I still have enough for three hunger checks. I'm going to dig up some corpses. That doesn't work on this. Okay. It is a grave. Okay. I always forget that one. Hidden. I'm dumb. I should have opened that with the antiquarian. That is my fault. Missing out on, on extra loot. Why is it not switching guys? There we go. Push and buttons. Hunger check. That's fine. Uh, shovel. Herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. This is what I need. Malformed with misintent. This is what I need the anti venom for. I should have brought more, honestly. I don't know why I used the torch there. I already knew there wasn't going to be a, a fight in there. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll still go. What? Let's see. Uh, sometimes a tree is just a tree. It doesn't have minor trinkets in it. It's not a big dungeon. I don't mind doing this. This I'll, I'll finish up the. I see. I see you, trap. I seen you. 
traps can also be a thing that respawns in here too. Would it surprise you here that the Jester, the roguish type, is very good at disarming traps? I think the Bonnie Hunter is too. He's good at disarming fungus. Yeah. I don't know how. Because he just sort of steps around it, but... Uh, I don't like the Blade Boys. Thank you. Another abomination Good hit. Cleansed from our lands. Woo, I was, man, I was hoping. I was hoping. Uh, I'm since I'm here, I'm just gonna get stress healing in on these fights because these guys aren't gonna deal a lot of stress damage. I'd rather get what stress healing now that I can. Okay. All right. It's very rude. I guess I could go for some healing, but I don't I don't really need it. Oh, why do you have to stun him? Come on. Good dodge. I guess they blade too. Yeah, they do. Okay. Alright. Death, please. Thank you. Yeah, he's stress relief in the form of crits. Oh, hey, uh, yeah, I'll just give me some more health. Why not? So too will resistance. Mm. Mm. Um. Um. I'll just. Right. It's fine. The promise of safety. Oh hey, this is food. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's gonna be treasure on there if I have this lady pick it up. Yeah, give me that treasure. Also, just eat all the food. Get some free healing. A box. I don't know. Why I don't just have her selected all the time. Give me more stuff, please. Thank you. And then, please get a scouting check so I don't have to waste my time. Never mind. All right, I'll go through the rooms. Hey, I need shovels for this. Uh, dig it up. If only Ooh. treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Okay, so I believe the thing that I can use the holy water for in here is removing quirks. So, eh, there's a couple of these I wouldn't mind getting rid of. I'm gonna hang on to them just in case of that. I am going to get rid of the citrines because it's just an extra 500 gold and they that's they're the weakest of the gems. Maybe I get unlucky and I would have looted like, you know, two or three more and then I've been like, damn, I wish I had a stack, but that's fine. If you're going to throw away anything, throw away the, the weakest choice. All right, going back and we'll do the last quarter and then we'll call it that. I gotta check sound levels and stuff too, so I will do another session later, but we got a good solid two hours of this game, this good video game. Uh, great, another hunter check. Glad I have the last shovel, and of course, like the last curio. Oh, damn it, the, the other curio that's up there is another one that requires, well, you can use a key on it, but I think the best value is from when you use anti-venom. Key works, great. And there's nothing in here, but I'll just go into it. So even though that was a short dungeon, I got as much money as I got from a medium dungeon. Which is, that's kind of how that works with the Antiquarian. Uh, I got some portraits, some more portraits, which I said are the rare ones, so it's nice to get those. Also, they're good for upgrading, you use them to upgrade the tavern, and I want to say the guild hall? The blacksmith, I think, uses deeds. So... Guildhall is really important to level up. Be able to level up your skills is uh, that's how your guys like the levels. The levels themselves, I don't know if they actually increase stats directly. I think you have to pay to upgrade your guys in either the blacksmith or the guild hall to actually make them more powerful. Nice. Hey, all right. Only positive effects because stress levels are low. I did walk out of here with like six new diseases though, so. All the decadent horrors. Hey, all right. Real in comparison to the uh. final crowning thing. I could not look, nor could I look away. Okay, yeah, so I... Four diseases. I am gonna... <sighs> increase the number of medical ward slots to two, please, and thank you. <laughs> I need it so badly. Techniques and tonics can overcome things a sharpened sword cannot. Um... These both suck, like, a lot, but I'd rather do Black Plague because of the minus speed and the minus further disease resist, blight resist. That's very bad. Send him in. 
And for her, uh, probably the speed and the HP, because the bleeding move resistance, it's fine, whatever. All right, phew. Okay, I'm gonna call it here, because I could go through the whole town maintenance stuff uh, next time, and it does take a second, so, all right. Um, it is, it's not dark, it's not darker, it's darkest, and I will see you in the next time.